Okay, everybody, today we are going to talk about how to set up closed captions for a video. So in the education world, or in probably a lot of different public worlds, when you make instructional videos, to make sure that they are fully accessible, uh, you have to have closed captions on these videos. You might also call this subtitling. There's some minor differences between what those two things are. I'm just going to call it closed captioning today because that's probably the most accurate for, for what I do for my videos. Now, this can be really, really time consuming. It can also be really expensive if you hire an outside party to do it. What I do, my method, I've tried a lot of different things, but what I do now is I upload videos into YouTube. YouTube adds artificial intelligence automatically generated uh, captions. And it's pretty quick how quickly they generate them, and then I go back in and edit them to make them correct. <clears throat> and this has a really bad reputation because in the past the YouTube captions were really, really bad. They're really good now. They've gotten very good. And what they miss is they don't add punctuation, they don't add capital letters, they don't add commas, quotation marks, periods, exclamation points, any of that stuff. For it to truly be accessible, uh, you do have to add all those things. It has to be 100% correct. So I'm going to show you today how I do this. Uh, what I would do, I have a video here in my list of videos on my channel. And when I open this up, you notice this right here, there's subtitles. Now this is a long video. This video you can see right there is 27 minutes and 16 seconds. That's a really long video. Uh, to type out all those captions manually would take a long time and to duplicate to edit them all within YouTube takes a long time too. So I'll show you how I would do this. So here's their automatic captions they've generated. What I would do is click duplicate and edit. So there's the automatically generated captions and these are very very good. They're like I said a lot better than they used to be. But this is a problem to do this within YouTube because this takes a long time to seek out every word that needs to be corrected. That's it. You don't have the same kind of features you have in Word. So what I do, this is my method that I use. Uh, I copy everything out of here. And I could have done a control A there to copy everything, but I sometimes I do things the old fashioned way. So I'm going to copy everything. Control C. Now I'm going to go into a Word document and I'm going to paste all that in. Okay. And now I have the features of Word that can help me with this. And as you can see, it's an eight page Word document and it's, it's going to take a while. There's no way around it, but it's a lot easier I have found than doing it within YouTube. And also, the nice thing about this is I can save this Word document at the end and then I will have a transcript for this video that if someone ever asks for a transcript. Or if I was going to load it into a different service that was not YouTube, I could load new captions into that service. So what I'll be doing in this video, because this is a really time consuming process no matter how you do it, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you some different techniques in Word to correct this. There's nothing that's not basic. Everything in Word is very, very basic for this. And then I'll be pausing at different times because you don't need to watch the whole time as I do the uh, very laborious work of doing this stuff. So I'll start and I'll be I'll be pausing and I'm going to time how long it takes me to do this 27 minute video and then I'll tell you at the end how long it took me and this this will give you an idea. It is very time consuming but it's the best method that I found and I've, I've tried a lot of different methods. So uh, here we go. We'll start. I'm going to write down the time. The time is 1.35 now, and then at the end I'll let you know. So the, the first thing I would do, because this is a lot of work and I don't want to lose it, is I'm going to save this somewhere. And I'm going to go into my folder for videos. And there we go right there. This is a video on Boolean searching. going to create a boolean folder and I'm going to <laughs> get rid of all of that and boolean searching video transcript and today's date if I can remember what the date is today 
Okay, so now I've got it because there's going to be a lot of work that I'm doing on this and I don't I don't want to lose it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is look for any words that I know will need to be capitalized or that I know will be misspelled. And um, so that's my name there, Jeff. The first thing I would do, I probably only say that a few times, so I'm not too worried about that. But on my keyboard in Word, I'm going to hit Control H and find that's find and replace. So anytime I see Jeff not capitalized, it should be replaced with Jeff capitalized. Replace all. There was only one of those in there. I only said my name once. Okay. The next thing I'm going to look through there, you see I. Okay. I will need to be capitalized in any time that it's in here. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And this one's a little tricky. Control H. Now, I don't want I capitalized every time that it shows up, like in the word this or anything. So I space. Anytime there's a small I with a space behind it, I want to replace that with a capital I and a space. Okay, 134 replacements. That would have taken me forever if I was working in YouTube trying to find all of those. So that just replaced 134 of those. Okay, next, I'm. I probably say I'm a lot in here, and it will not be capitalized. I'm should be replaced with capital I'm. 59 replacements. So already this is saving me a ton of time. Okay, aisle. I see aisle there. Control H. Aisle. Capital. Aisle. Made three replacements. Okay. And just looking through it, I'm just going to look through again to see if there's anything like that. Boolean probably should always be uh, capitalized. Control H. Boolean should be Boolean. Seven replacements. I said it seven times in the video. So I'm just going to look through just really quick. I'm going to look through and see anything else that really sticks out to me. You can see all those capital I's in there. And okay, it's looking it's looking pretty good. Uh, nothing else is jumping really out at me that needs to be capitalized. Let's see. I just want to get all of that. And there's there'll be some some words in here uh, that aren't right. But if you look through this, you notice it's pretty good. I mean, there's, I'm not seeing. A lot of misspelled words. Then again, I'm just kind of looking over this, but okay. So there's there's the first thing. It's just any words that you know, and I I will come across others as we're doing this. And as soon as I come across others, oh I've there's I've. So we'll do Control H. Anytime we have lowercase I've, that should be I've. Five replacements. Okay. And it really is, these are things I can't do within the YouTube interface, but this is this is really helping. Okay, so this next part, and that's that's mostly I, I don't really see, I can't really see any of the things. As we go along, I will notice, I will notice other things. Um, like I mentioned Walmart a few times. Uh that should probably be be capitalized, but uh yeah, why not? And I, I can tell, I remember what I did in this video. Uh, replace all. There you go. I remember, and you kind of will know how you speak. Uh, I, I think it was, I had it like this. I was showing all the different ways uh, that you could, you could search for Walmart. So I, I kind of just know how I speak. Um, these are different examples in this that I'm showing in it. Uh, so there's now also as we go along, I am going to on a regular basis save this to make sure I'm still saving it. Okay, this next part is really, is really time consuming. This is the most time consuming part, um, and this is going to sound strange to you, but I I I'm going to leave capitalization of the sentences last. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add periods and commas everywhere there should be periods and commas. And this is, again, this is my method. Uh, what I do, I put my middle finger 
on the comma, and I, this is my left hand. On my left hand, on the keyboard, I put my middle finger on the comma. I put my uh, my index finger, left index finger on the period. I just have them positioned there, and I'm going to arrow through this document, <laughs> and I know how I speak, and I know where the commas and periods should go. So, hello everyone, comma. This is Jeff from the library, and I'm not going to put a ton of commas in here, probably the comma there. And today we're going to talk about Boolean logic or Boolean searching. That's the end of a sentence. Use library data. This is I found it's frustrating. And I leave all these in here. Uh because that's going to match up with my voice when I load it back in there. The, the closer that it can be to what I'm actually saying, the better it's, it's going to link up. Uh, there's Google. I'll, I'll need to capitalize Google because I probably mentioned Google a lot in here. And so you see what I'm doing here? I, I'm going to go through here and add commas and periods everywhere that needs to be added. And this is the really time consuming part of this. I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to do this on my own. Then I'm going to check back in. I think you understand what I'm doing here. It's I'm going through here every place there's looks like there's there should be a comma and every place it looks like there should be a period. I'm adding those and it's I'm not going to lie to you. It's time consuming, but I'm going to pause it because you don't need to watch me do the mind numbing task of this and then I'll check back in when I'm ready for the next step. OK. OK, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie to you. That's it's really mind numbing to do that. Maybe mind numbing isn't the right word, uh, the right phrase. But I went through and I added periods and commas everywhere that I think a period and comma should go in here. And it's easier if you edit your own speaking because you know how you speak and you you kind of know your natural rhythm. And if you don't know, by the end of doing this for an hour, which I just did, you will know how you speak. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like seeing a photograph of yourself. You're not really aware that you really look like that. And or hearing a recording, you're not really aware that you sound like that. But here, when you see your speaking transcribed formally out like this, it's it's interesting to see how you really speak. And you'll see a lot of patterns in how you speak. So that, that took me about an hour. I'm not going to lie to you. I I'd like to tell you it's simpler and easier than that, but going through and adding commas and periods everywhere to this took me about an hour. Now, remember, this is a this is a 27 minute long video, and I would not recommend making videos that long. But for this topic, it kind of needed to be that long. This is I would never make a video any longer than that. Most videos I would recommend make a five, 10 minute video. So this is as bad as it could possibly get. But that took me, that took me about 10 minutes to do all of that. That's the hardest part is adding the periods and the commas with this method. Now, make sure you save this regularly because you don't want to lose that work or you'll start screaming or I would. Okay. Now the next part is I'm going to have to add capital letters every, every place after a, a period and question marks too. So instead of just looking, trying to find all the periods, what I'm going to do is do a control F on my keyboard and I'm going to type in period. Okay. Now the nice thing, now all the periods are lit up and I'm just going to highlight every letter that comes after a period. Again, I'm going to do this for a little bit and then I'm probably going to stop and pause it and come back because you probably don't need to see me doing all this. But so this is a little trick too. Instead of going through and retyping all these letters, I'm going to highlight and hold down control on my keyboard. I'm going to highlight every place that there should be a capital letter. Okay, and I'll just do this for a few and then I'll show you a little trick because it's going to take a long time to change all these to capital letters one at a time. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything that I see right here. That one's already capitalized. Now I'm on my keyboard. I'm going to hold down shift and then F3 shift F3. Okay. Did you see that all of them change from lowercase to uppercase that I had highlighted? Okay. Now it, now that I did that every time you do that, I will have to search again for all my periods. Okay. And, uh, so that, that's a quick way to do this. So I'm going to do a little bit more of this than I'm going to pause. I'm going to highlight, hold down control. And again, I don't have to use my eyes as much if these are highlighted in yellow. It's, it's easier to see this. 
There's that. And I just keep going here. And this actually goes relatively quickly. Again, I'm not going to tell you this is easy, but if if you're going to have your videos on online and you're part of an educational institution, you really should be making these fully accessible because without the punctuation and the capital letters, uh, it, it doesn't really read very well. And if a person really couldn't hear, it, it still would be very confusing to just see a bunch of unformatted text. So I'm going to grab these and grab a whole bunch of them so I can get a whole bunch in one, one shot. Still, I'm holding down the control key. You notice those I's are already capitalized because I did that search at the beginning where I was capitalizing everything that was an unaccompanied I or an I'm or an aisle. So we've got this. And again, I know this is tedious, but this is so much easier than when I used to do this, try to do this within YouTube because I didn't have any of these find features or replace features or this is so much better. So I've got all of those. Everything on my first page is highlighted, highlighted. And I'm going to hold down Shift F3. And now all of those sentences are capitalized. Okay. So once again, I'm going to pause this video while I do this because you don't need to see me do all of this. You understand what I'm doing. I'm going to do the rest of the pages because I'm really trying to correct this video. I do need to get this corrected. So I'm going to pause now and I'll check back in a few minutes and uh, show you the other steps. Okay, we're back. I took a lot of time going through here and highlighting every place there was a period. And I remember I did this here and uh, put the period up here. And then it sought out all of the places highlighted. And then after all the highlighting, I went through, uh, selected all of those letters that need to be capitalized. And then I capitalized everything. And if you notice now, it's pretty readable. This transcript that started off is just a lot of text. If you look at it, it's 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 pretty readable here. Um, a few things I would probably capitalize that there. Since I'm talking about a Boolean term, I'll make it a little different from the rest of it. Not there you go. There was my little trick of highlighting Shift F3. Okay, so all this it it is time consuming. I and again, this is a 27 minute long video. So this, I, I wouldn't recommend recording videos that are that long because it takes a long time to collect the, the closed captioning. This probably took me all total probably an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. That's a pain, but if you have to make these closed captions accurate, um, before you put them on your website or anything, this, and you're not going to be able to hire someone else to sub, subtitle these for you or closed caption these, this is a, a fairly workable option. Again, it works a lot better than trying to do this all through YouTube. But I am going to be honest with you, it this takes a while, but it's a lot easier than what I used to do. So remember, I've been saving this the whole time. So if anyone ever asks for a transcript of the video, I've got this. Um, what I'm going to do now that I've gotten everything corrected, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go back into YouTube and I've got I'm going to highlight everything in here again. This was the original text. And here we go, a whole bunch of texts. Oh boy, this was a big job. Okay, and then I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste in my new transcript. Okay, and it will link it up with the audio and the video that's in here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click Publish. and now it's published. So these are the new, these were the auto captions they generated. Those will always be in there if I need to go back to them. But here's my new, here's my new video. And it seems to take place pretty quickly. Let's, let's check this. And I'm going to turn on the closed captions right here. And we'll click play. There, there it is. Notice there's commas in there, and there's punctuation, there's capital letters, there's periods. So it's, it's, it's live. 
I did it, so it's done. Now, the, the final thing that I would probably do with this, I'm going to close that right there. What I would probably do as a last step is I would go in here and I would double check this against the video. I would I would watch the video and edit these to make sure there, there's no errors in the captions. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And then, like I said, I've got this saved now in my files. If anyone ever asks for a transcript of this video, which sometimes you get requests for that, now I have that taken care of as well. Uh, so that's how you do this process. I wish I could tell you that it was easy and quick. It's not, but it's a lot easier and a lot quicker than trying to do this all within YouTube. Okay, thanks a lot. Hopefully this was helpful for some people out there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.